Good afternoon and thank you for joining us right here on Midday Kentucky. How are you, my friends? Hey, great. The end of your day yeah, is all one hour. Yeah, Hang in there. Yeah. Day. Well, Hang a lot in of there. people heading back to work today, start it's yesterday a, off, so easing mm -hmm. back into the work week. But it's a little quiet within our building. Yeah, it is. All yeah. the sales team are away. Mm -hmm. I know, I we're know. running around crazy because our <laughs> bosses aren't here. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's actually arrived. <laughs> oh. when, the, when the cat's away, the mice will play exactly. to an extent. To an exactly. extent. Well, too. speaking about... <laughs> We talked about Christmas on the mm -hmm. yesterday's show. Mm -hmm. yes. Your parents, you were having Christmas yesterday. Yeah, they made so it into town by. right when I got home from work. Perfect timing. Yeah. Uh, parents have been here before, but brother and sister and their significant others have never visited Lexington. They're here. We've got a big night ahead of us. They Today. Actually, of course. Yeah, you got to play entertainer. So heading Aww. out, we're hitting a distillery. Uh, there, there they go. Um, oh, you bought him in on right, set. Right there, yeah. I, you Aww. know, look at what a happy thing. And so th they brought homemade Christmas goodies yeah, to they did. die for. Please come back, Eric's family. A little bit of sugar. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, is I actually said to our digital sales director, I said, who are all those people walking out of the building? He said, I don't know. They must have been busy on Good Day Kentucky. Yeah, that's but my But it was crew. your parents. That's my now squad we understand. right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so well, did they, have they been fun. at the station before? Mom and Dad have, but that was brother and sister. Okay. And that's um, my in-laws. Uh, it's nice when people stop by. That you yeah, know. you know, it's the, the and a green wall is just so entertaining <laughs> to people that don't do it yeah. on a daily basis. I mean, I take it for granted at this point. But uh, yeah, glad they're yeah, in town. And, cool. uh, always nice to have family around. Okay, well, we <laughs> often talk about many things, and I think something that's interesting is that we often find things that we can each talk about okay. or adhere to, and it's something that you brought in regarding men's creams. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Shaving bar. Uh, we're supposed to be talking about family affection first. Oh, you we are? You jumped the gun. Oh. <laughs> you jumped the gun. I don't even know what that is right now. I did, I did my family <laughs> spiel. No, it's, it's okay, your Okay, let's spin that uh, teleprompter back a little bit more for me. Well, it's actually... <laughs> For many people, it's go. considered perfectly normal at Christmas to encourage children to embrace their relatives when they see or say goodbye to them. And while some kids might be happy or even keen to do so, some others might not want to hug mm -hmm. or kiss a relation on the lips. Well, a controversial new children's rights campaign is shaming parents who tell their children to embrace family members via a meme which has swept the internet and gone viral on Facebook. You can see that up on your screen right now. This is one of them that says, I am five, my body is my body. Don't force me to hug mm -hmm. or kiss. I'm learning about consent and your support on this will keep myself safer for the rest of my life. There was another one that came up. Now this, is, this is a campaign that was in New Zealand. Don't force kids to sit on my lap. I'm fed up of parents not allowing kids to make choices about their own bodies. Let them hug, high five or wave if they want, if they want, they want. If that's what they want. I get it. Now, my question to you guys is, we all have the, the you know. <laughs> I'm scared the, what you're going to say. The scary uncle that or touchy aunt that uncle? you don't want to <laughs> kiss or hug. Yeah. But this is a different scenario. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is them saying you shouldn't, it's, it's bad to force your children to kiss or say hello or hug your uncle or aunt or cousins or whatever. Mm -hmm. How do you I, feel? I think close family members, I, I agree with encouraging children to show affection. If this is your brother or your sister, your mom, your dad, we hug, we kiss. But then I think when it comes to even extended relatives, I remember being a child, you know, your memory only goes so long. So you see this adult that maybe you haven't seen in mm -hmm. years you don't know who they are yep. but your parents are encouraging you to hug and kiss them and I, I can understand why that makes some children feel awkward maybe letting them choose there but I do think you also at a young age need to encourage your children to be affectionate I, and I let, agree. let them know that that is okay so mm -hmm. I think you should I think there's a them. line to be yeah. drawn uh, going to the Santa thing though um, I mean that's another one I think that should be an option do you want to go yeah. hang out with this guy that's yelling ho 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 like you know, if you want to go sit on his lap, but no, but that should be many, up to you. How many pictures do you see at Christmas time with kids screaming <laughs> oh, on Santa's lap? Oh, yeah. But look, the, the main conversation about this was it's been reposted over 200,000 wow. times. Mm -hmm. And they're basically saying that we shouldn't be doing it as mm -hmm. parents, that mm -hmm. we should really let kids do their own thing. But I also think, you know, you might not see that auntie or uncle every year. So it is good to embrace the family. Whether you need to give them big kisses and cuddles, I don't know. 
Yeah. You know, I I'm Italian, and I we think, cuddle every day before the show. Well, yeah, I just yeah. sort of I, is I that go weird? up and, and I'm left out of that. Is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Now you've completely thrown me. Okay, let's go on to Moving your topic. On. <laughs> I'm like, what? Moving on. I think that's a perfect transition. Well, this is why you want to get close to me because I smell like. Nivea men. So um, <laughs> I have to tell everyone about this. I love makeup dupes, expensive makeup that you can get really cheap and it works the same. So I've always heard about expensive makeup primers. I love Benefit Makeup Forever. They're fabulous Explain primers. Explain to this one what a makeup But they're 40 is. plus dollars, up to $50. It's okay. what you put on before your makeup and it makes it smooth. You didn't do that when you were doing gymnastics? No. Uh -huh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm going to stop responding. You know you still responding. have those gymnastics <laughs> I'm going to stop habits. responding altogether. Well, anyway. Get so it out of your system. <laughs> I've been seeing on a whole bunch of beauty blogs that um, the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm has some of the similar active ingredients. Mm -hmm. And all of these bloggers just live by it. They swear that it works just as well as the makeup primers. And I really love Benefit. Wonderful. But again, really expensive. So I've now been trying this for a week, and I have to say, it is the exact same result. And Eric, you tried this before. Right, let me. Eight ninety nine. You kind of smell like a man. Kind of that. Eight dollars. Minty aloe type scent. Eight dollars compared it's, it's to. Sounds like a Nivea Fifty dollars, but this is like an it. enormous. Well, it's obviously um, non comedogenic too, because obviously. you can't you can't shave <laughs> and then you know be clogging like your what? pores. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Yeah, it was like it doesn't clog your pores. You so do you have, can't have a you fresh, have lovely skin. A, fre <laughs> a fresh shave, and then you're putting, you know, oils in there. You don't want that, yeah. right? I'm no expert. We don't. But no. You're well, well, sounding like one. So oh. anyway, <laughs> ladies, you got to give this a try for a replacement Nine for bucks. your makeup primer. Yeah. This is Worth eight bucks. So this whole thing, just take it from your husband. All right. Well, I wanted to move <laughs> it right along to some beauty trends for 2017. <laughs> oh, if up. you're this way inclined. Thinking okay. Well, bold lips, sun striping, and fake freckles. Expert predicts the top beauty trends for 2017 <laughs> will be this. Freckles, would you go ahead and create freckles on your face? Fake freckles. This is, well, I actually think it's a sign of youth and also a sign that you haven't been out doing too much to your skin. I think it looks quite No, cute. I think it looks good. I just don't think I could master that, where oh then God, they no. would smear, no. and then I would just have smeared dots <laughs> yes. on my face. Like, yeah. that looks good, but I don't think I could accomplish that. Okay, work. let's bring up the next one. We all look good. This is called sun striping. We all look good when we've been out in the car or been out in the sun. Mm -hmm. We've got a bit of sun on our cheeks and a bit of sun on the nose, yeah? Mm -hmm. It gives us a fresh little look. This is what it is. It's basically putting the, the foundation and and a coloured powder across the face. It's called sun striping. Not too difficult, I don't think. Let's look at the coloured mascara. Look, Lady uh, Di bought this no. in with the blue. No. <laughs> no. Next. Just Next. say no. <laughs> but you know what? This was actually around a few years ago when I used to do a lot of photo shoots for the magazines. It's been around. Um, is it something that you should wear every day? Most certainly not. Um, and I have to say, I love the bold lip. This is a shadow for a bold lip. See how they got the I love that, the contoured mm -hmm. lip. Yeah. I do like you love that. that. I love that look. I always try to do it, and then it just ends up as one mushy it becomes one. color. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're just a couple. We're going to put them up on our Facebook page. I love it. Kentucky Facebook.